Fiber optic cables are thin glass strands, no thicker than a hair, that enable voice and data to travel via light from one point to another. Each glass strand of fiber is 250 microns in diameter. As such, working with it can be a tricky task, as it is fragile and can break easily if not handled correctly. In building a fiber optic network of over 8,000 kilometers, fiber strands need to be joined together, either by using connectors or splicing the fiber. Splicing is an important component of laying down a fiber network. As optic fiber cables are often only manufactured in lengths of between one and six kilometers, they need to be spliced to provide the desired length of cable. Other reasons why fiber may need to be spliced include when fiber optic cable gets damaged during trenching, in which case this splicing needs to take place on site and can occur day or night. To minimize the impact that splicing could have on the quality of the fiber signal, the process requires a qualified technical team with steady hands and access to specialized tools. Before splicing fiber, the technician will need to have the following tools ready. A fiber stripper, alcohol spray and optic fiber wipes, a cleaver, a splice machine and a splice protector. Having set these up, the technician needs to wear eye protection to prevent splints from possibly entering and damaging the eye. And now the splicing can begin. To start, the technician strips back the sheeting of the cable to expose the tubes, then strips back the tube and then 10 millimeters of the outer protective layer on the fiber optic strand to be spliced, then slips the fiber strand through the splice protector and cleans it using alcohol spray and optic fiber wipes. The clean fiber strand is placed into a splice protector. It is then ready to be placed into a cleaver which cuts the fiber optic strand at an eight degree angle. The same process is followed for the subsequent strands of fiber. Once the strands of fiber have been cut with a cleaver, they are placed into a V-Grove holder in the fiber optic fusion splice machine. The machine inspects the ends of the fiber using a specialized magnifying viewer to ensure the cleave angle is correct and that the strand is clean. Then the ends of the fiber are automatically aligned within the fiber optic fusion splicer. The fiber optic fusion splicer then uses a spark known as arc fusion to enable the temperature of the glass and the optical fiber to be raised above its melting point and thereby allowing the two ends to fuse together. Once the fiber optic strand has been spliced, an estimate of the splice loss is measured by the fiber optic splice machine. This is achieved by directing light through the cladding on one side and measuring the light leaking from the cladding on the other side of the splice. The fusion splice machines offer sophisticated computer-controlled alignment of fiber optic cables to achieve losses as low as 0.02 decibels. Finally, the fiber is protected using a splice protector. This heat shrunk tubing protects the fiber from damage from outside elements such as rain as well as prevents the fiber from bending or breaking during normal handling. The spliced fiber is carefully removed from the machine and placed into a splice tray and the remaining slack on the fiber is coiled away in the splice tray. After splicing the fiber, it is important to dispose of the scraps properly so that it doesn't end up on the floor. Fiber should be disposed of in properly marked containers. Other considerations for splicing fiber include thoroughly and frequently cleaning the splicing tools. When working with fiber, Keep in mind that particles not visible to the naked eye could cause tremendous problems when working with fiber optics. It is also key to ensure that you are working in a dust-free environment, which could impact on the quality of light transmission via the fiber. Properly maintaining and operating your cleaver. The cleaver is a valuable tool in fiber splicing, as you need the proper angle to ensure proper end faces. Otherwise, too much light escaping into the air gaps between the two fibers will occur. The splice protector will eliminate most of the light escaping, but cannot overcome a low quality cleave. It is also important to maintain the cleaver by following manufacturer instructions for cleaning, as well as using the tool properly and servicing and cleaning the fusion splicing machine regularly to ensure it functions optimally. Although there are other types of splicing methods, DFA prefers fusion splicing as it results in minimal decibel loss, least reflectance, and provides the strongest, most reliable joint between two fibers. This helps to ensure that DFA is able to provide the best quality fiber network to deliver high-speed connectivity across South Africa.